Hello there and welcome. Just a quick video to show you my newest addition to my aquariums. This cute little fella. He is a porcupine puffer and is one of the fish I've always wanted to keep. I've had him for a bit now. Uh, he's well settled in and really quite hungry by the looks of it. Now, I really like porcupine puffers. They're very endearing little creatures and they can become quite tame. But they do have quite a big requirement in terms of aquarium size uh, because they get quite big. I mean, a big porcupine puffer is going to be a good 8 to 10 inches, if not a little bit bigger. And they require a lot of food and produce a lot of waste. So you need a big tank and a big system to support one of these. But luckily for me, I do have a big tank and a big system. This system at the moment is about 800 litres and uh, it's going to get bigger so he's going to be more than happy in this tank. Now he's very tame, you can see he almost wants to eat my finger but I'm not going to let him. Um, but I'm going to feed him and I'll show you what they eat. So at this stage he needs little prawns. Now what you need, so you can already see it, look at him, he really wants it and they do learn to spit as well. See, uh, he got me the other day where he was begging. Come on. See, they spit water. It's really quite cute. Um, so let's feed him. So they need this kind of diet to keep their beak uh, trimmed because their beak always grows. And in the wild, they eat very hard shelled creatures. As you can see, he's not making much effort. He's getting through that prawn really quickly. Um, so the beak's always growing. And if you don't give him shelled foods, they will overgrow. So prawns when they're young and then you can move up to crabs and uh, lobsters and things like that if you're feeling generous, just to keep his beak down. Also cockles as well. Cockles in shell is a very nice food for them. Now they do get really tame and it's all based around food. Um, he's really cute, look at him. Uh, I'll give him another prawn. There we are. One more prawn for him. Now you can see as he eats, his belly's getting bigger and that's basically where they store their food. So they'll eat and eat and eat and eat, fill up their belly and then they'll go and rest somewhere and digest the food. So you don't really need to feed them every day. You can feed them every couple of days. They kind of gorge and then they relax for a bit and digest the food, a bit like a snake, I suppose. But anyway, that is all I wanted to share with you, my new puffer fish. So thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you'd like to see more of this kind of content, please remember to like the video and subscribe to my channel.